be worse. I don't know how it could be worse, but it could be. Anyway, so Yara's gonna go his Samus and Mia, uh, the 2D, 2D dude himself. And we're gonna get into this grand finals. Okay. Right away, right away, just Mia's just running into stuff. I like I like the strategy a lot. I don't really know about this. Mm. Mm. It's kind of an interesting stage pick coming from uh, because Game and Watch kills off the side super super early, and Samus normally prefers to kill off the top. So that's like, unless it's with like back air or something. Right. I feel like, I feel like um, just where Samus has a bit more uh, wiggle room here, like she gets some breathing room and actually you know play neutral. She has a bit more like roomed around in. Just room to move around. Yeah, just PSP. PSP. Hey, you know what? Mix mix things up. You know, expect the unexpected. Right. You gotta keep the uh, me on his toes. Yeah. Hey. hey. So far, Yaro's been uh, been hitting some bullseyes with these charge shots and does pick up the kill with a well placed back, back air. So, Yaro's uh, he, he's doing pretty good right now. Yeah, Yaro does until he gets hit with an 80% combo and can't land. But I mean, that is the matchup. Yeah, that's and that's cool. the Yeah, the shots that Gus has fully pay. <sighs> it's, it's, just, <laughs> it's a hard matchup. This is such a hard matchup. It's it's a hard matchup at top level. Yeah, Mid level, like, it's not that bad as long as you don't use charge set too much like I do. <laughs> like the self report, but it is what it is. But at top level, this is just so hard. And, and I, playing, mean, I mean, just playing as me as Game Watch is so tough anyway because he's just all over you. And unless you have like. Arbiters are just a really big, big sword. It's just hard to deal with. Right. I, I, I was thinking about this. Eh, I'll talk about it in a second. Um, but in Kagadibi, if Leo ends up getting to Mia, I wonder who, who would take it. Because, of course, Leo has an insane amount of Game & Watch experience. So, mm. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll see in a few weeks. That was a good. Uh, that was a good read on the air dodge there from Yara, though. This That's is it. a good combo. <laughs> I like that. It's like Yara had the great read, and then Mia just got the berry and combo. Oh, just up there to Mia game game one. Mm. Yeah, I mean it's kind of to be expected. Apparently, there's somebody here who's a French fry, so we take those. Um, Safari Wizard, anyways, but um, but yeah, I mean that it's it's kind of going as expected. Like honestly, winners finals, Yaldo was just playing out of his mind. I don't want to be like a like a doomer, but this is just such a hard matchup against Mia's game and watch. It's definitely a pain, but like if you're playing this game at like or if you want to be like a top level player in Japan, you just got to know at some point in your run you're gonna have to fight against Mia's game and watch. Like you basically at this point like. If you want to be a top level player, like you just have to admit that you're gonna to have to deal with Mia's game watch or Akola's Steven. It's, it's absolutely true. I mean, in America or in the U.S., I guess you could say. I don't. I don't really know much about the European scene, to be completely honest. I know there's Lugi and Gluttony and all them, and uh, Bloom Forever and stuff. But yeah. with the Japanese scene. Basically, who's going to make top eight is basically guaranteed every time for, like, a yeah. major tournament. Uh, I think I was telling Zone earlier, and I think I even tweeted this out a while ago. It's like, at some of these tournaments, like, if Aquila and Mia are participating, it's kind of just a, a game of who's getting second, second or third. Right, like, because they're basically guaranteed first and second. It's just, okay, who, who gets to be third place? Which you hate to see, but it's true. It kind of is. Like, these guys are on a different level. I mean, I haven't seen Aqua in a while, you know. I just busy with school, but Mia, he be grinding. He's going to everything. Doesn't, it doesn't matter what country. He's going to everything lately. Yeah, same with uh, our guy, Neo. Shouts to, uh, to Neo. 
Dale. Going big be, in I, Ohio. I haven't seen him in a while, but I saw him at the last Delta during uh, the winter time, and he was, he was molding about Yoshi. It was really funny. Yoshi? Uh, he, uh, he lost against Fui's Yoshi. It was... He wasn't ah. happy. He wasn't happy. It was, it, I thought it was pretty, but seeing him salty made me happy. Eh. I, I like. I, I, like I, I like Nail though. He's a he's a he's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. Okay. So oh, oh he he was expecting a roll in or a dash in right there. I think the he was up smash, to... even though he's only at eighty percent, that would have been the stock at this. And uh, random, but about the um. When they went to Town and City on the first game, I'm assuming that was Mia's pick. I guess he won Rock, Paper, Scissors, because Battlefield is absolutely Yara's pick. Yeah, no doubt. A B? Like, Yara's keeping the stuff, like, the percent's pretty even, all things considered. I just feel like Yara has to put in way more effort to make this matchup work. Yes, and I mean, that that's just the Game & Watch, though. Like, Game & Game and Watch win this matchup. It's just Game and Watch has a really simple. I mean, same as us too. As far as like a simplicity of game plan, but against characters like this, you just can't do the same game plan. You have to treat Game and Watch as a reflect, as a character with a reflector, like Falco or something. Yeah, not only that. Like I feel like Samus is like kind of floaty physics or kind of big hitbox, and like her lack of really good aerial. Like fast aerial attacks just kind of make her combo food for your game and watch. That's it. Hit. That's so stupid. <laughs> how hey. did that not mash hit? And I don't know how that did not smash hit. I'm gonna maul a little bit from that. I feel like he was not <laughs> in the game for that down smash to hit. He shouldn't have gotten buried. But whatever. But no, yeah, no, this is just. And Yar Yara's looking like. Looks like he's got his, his test bag. It looks like. If you ever study for a test and you thought you were going to do really well on it, then you just bombed it? That's how Yara's looking like right now. I feel like even if... It, it, it's it's the Mia Game & Watch test, though, so no matter how much you study, you're probably still going to fail unless you're Larukun, because he has the cheat sheet of, oh, if I grab you at zero, you're probably dead. Oh, or if you're, or if you're Zachary, you just go pit. There you go. I forgot he beat him at that. What? What? That was in the U.S., right? As a Genesis, he th he three owed Mia with uh with Pit. Are you crouching, Are you crouching Steve or Mia? I I feel like that was Mia's lowest placement as of late. Yeah, I just. just right. I mean, it happens. I mean, it, like I think feel like Smash. It's ooh, wow, he got really lucky breakthrough from Yara. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's so uh, hard to be consistent in this meta and in this game, but I feel like in this well, Mia does it well, so I feel like for Smash, it's, if you want to be a top play player, you got to be like a you got to be like a like an eight like a seven eight or a nine like most of the time. I feel like it's easy to be around that range. Yeah, true. Uh, like I can also play Street Fighter Six. Street Fighter Six, you're either a one or you're a ten. There's no in between. <laughs> So, that's, but that's a discussion for another day. Let's talk about Yara doing pretty well right now. Insanely good grab. Ah, good parry. And that's the thing, like, with um, Mia and Akola especially, like, her parry into punishes are just so good. And I think that's what makes them so, so strong as players. Yeah, you can definitely tell they've definitely been practicing these. Because both these guys, well, like, pretty much all, every top level player in Japan is just a Smash Bay monster. I mean, you know, though, like the netcode isn't exactly the best for Smash Online. You can at least get a game plan going on for your your character. Exactly. Where does Yara? Where's Yara from? Yara is from Hiroshima. Okay, yeah. So even though, like, maybe maybe they do. Maybe they have a game watch, like a strong game watch user. He at least, Yara can at least formulate a game plan against that game watch and then take it to Mia. And to his credit, like he's probably doing better against Game Watch as a Sam Susan than anyone as anyone else could. Right. Oh, so, and he's all goes... lap, he brought him down the last stock at eighty percent. Um, Mia doesn't have bucket as long as he doesn't do anything hasty. 
and yeah, yeah. should be in theory fine, but it uh, okay, that's... okay. So, what may end up happening is um, he is gonna take this stock somehow, some way, and then the last stock will probably be a bucket stock, unless uh, Yab is able to avoid it. I'm assuming that's what he is thinking right now as this game plan. Yeah, yeah. The thing about it is, though, I feel like with that bucket full up, that just means Yara can uh, freely shoot more projectiles and not really worry about it. True. That is the that is the one benefit of once they have full bucket. It's that you kind of have the freedom to use it as you please, but then you also have the fear of dying at 30%. Exactly. And he's going to make this back. No, he's not, because Mia does not miss those kind of edge guards. Yeah, at that point, yeah, yeah Yara, Yara did not have a second jump, so it's just kind of... Nope. Pray to, pray to Jesus that he missed. Right. Okay. Let's trust Mario from... Oh. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? There we go. Uh, I, hate to, I hate that I was right. <sighs> Even Yara was like, looking there, he's like, I, hope, I really hope he's thinking, God damn it, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah. I hope he's... I even predicted that it was going to be a 3-0, so, man. Yeah, good job to Mia. Yeah, yeah, like I said... Him. He's so like, good. Yeah, like I said about Mia and Aqua, I was like, if they're entering a tournament, you're basically competing for, for second place, so... Congratulations to Yara for doing it for the, the Samus Pros. Right. Yeah, Yauda, Yauda is sick, and he is... As a solo Samus main, he is absolutely doing it, and there's only, like, a couple others who are doing it as well as him. So. Like, 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 like Sisqui. Sisqui. Quick is not as active as he used to be, but yeah, Sisqui. I was at Tor Teaser also quit. Icy uh, Mist is doing pretty well in the U.S., but, but yeah, oh, uh, Yoda is Yoda and Siski are pretty much it's the Samus. Is. There's no argument that they are the top of the top. But either way, enough about Yoda. Even though he's my goat, um, <laughs> Mia won the tournament, and I believe he, other than did he until he got to uh, Tuna in winter semis, he didn't drop a game as well. So just insane play from Mia. He's just so good at the game, oh, yeah. and. He plays a really good character as well. Insane that he kind of weird he doesn't play Inkling when he has an Inkling plushie, but it's okay. Hey, maybe he just likes the Splatoon. Anyway, I mean, uh, uh, anyway, why don't we wrap up here, Watson? It, it was a it was a fun fun day. Yeah, long hey. day, long day, good day, fun day. Hey, but hey, look, look at the look at the upside. You you made Samus. You got to commentate some Samus, so. I got to commentate a lot of Samus today. That was actually really nice. It was matchups I don't like to commentate, but we take those. I play. I mean, I, I play Pit and and Sa and Sora, and they're kind of well, not so much Sora, but definitely Pit's kind of rare these days. So yeah, my esoteric knowledge doesn't go to use unless Akrey actually decides to leave his house. He only comes out to really big stuff, it seems, except for like the random Smash party. But yeah, anyways. So yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, well, like exactly. Yeah, Zachary is a uh, you know actual content creator, so. Yep. He's on that. He's on that Mars grind. I wonder. Yeah, I, wonder any... he, I wonder if he charges for so, like appearance. I was wondering if he like oh uh went really quick, but I'll just say this really quick. Yeah, some players uh they actually do charge for appearances. Like Daigo Ume Umehada charges for appearance fees. If you want him at your event. I wonder if Zachary's at that level yet. I imagine so, I but know. I could see it. He's, because he was uh, the undisputed best in Japan for a bit. But anyways, anyways, aside from that, I'm sure he, maybe he charges. I don't know. Zach Ray's Zach Ray's so cute, such a such a such a nice such a nice guy as well. Anyways, anyway, so yeah, let's wrap up here. Uh, uh, say some final thoughts, Watson. Yeah. Uh, everyone in chat who is still here, thank you for watching and tuning in today. Um, obviously. I mean, it was Mia entering, so it was a good... It was kind of... I don't want to say it was guaranteed, but it was pretty much set in stone that he was going to be at least top four, and he ended up winning the tournament from Winterside, so very good stuff to him. Also good stuff to Yauda, Yoshidora, Umeki, the normal guys who were all up in the top. Did very, very well today. Um, coming up pretty soon, there's going to be Delta 7.5, Delta 8, and then Kagari B12, I believe, as well. Yeah, so... Coming so up few weeks we and, got some massive tournaments so be sure to tune in yeah there's also gonna be smapa this week and probably next week um i'm not sure I'll, i won't i won't be at the small pods but i'm gonna be also helping with vgbc because i do paradise cup for street fighter 6 
So if you dabble in other games, be sure to check that out as well. Yeah, so yeah, it's going to be a fun few weeks for Japan for Smash Bros. and for Street Fighter. I'm going to be at Yuma Japan. I won't be a VGBC thing, but I'm very much going to be there. And if I get out of my pools in either Street Fighter 6 or Third Strike, I'm going to be a, be a very lit man. Good luck with that. Thanks. So anyway, yeah, so this is Z-Man's here. Uh, if you're still watching, uh, follow me on the socials, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. TikTok at z man has got a new video coming out soon. And uh, you got to go check that out. The Desire. And I have been Watson coming to you, not from Tokyo today, because I'm in a different part of Japan for work, but that sucks. Anyways, but um, yeah, so if you want to follow me on socials, it's Watson underscore JP. If not, don't worry about it. But yeah, so um, we will all see you at the next big tournament. And again, thanks again for tuning in. Yep. Later, everybody. Love and peace. Take it easy. Later. All right. All right, guys.